I chose the morgue's top six favorite movies that I've actually seen. I've only seen maybe seven, so these are my six. Number one, <laughs> these are in a particular order. Okay. Number one, no surprise, Poltergeist 3. Mm. You know I've talked about Poltergeist 3 with you guys over and it? over. This is it, yeah. So there's there's the first one, very good. It takes place in Chicago? Yeah, I didn't realize it just took place in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, so little Carol Ann is sent to live with her, um, is Carol Ann the her relatives. No, she's the young she's girl. She's the kid, she's like oh. the, there's yeah, there's, that there's yeah, right? she's Yeah, she's, um, there's no doll, Lauren. So there's a lot of drone footage in this movie? Or? So this movie is, uh, it, it's uh, number three is all about yes, mirrors. And you see these uh, these other people, these intruders in the mirrors. And I'm telling you, for like three years, I could not shower without the shower oh curtain gosh. open. So that I could make sure nobody was in that shower with me through the mirror. And this is That's one of your how, favorite movies. Yeah, so it's, it's been 25 years since I, I was like six or seven yeah. watching a movie like this. So it's probably my, why I was so scared. My friend Erin wouldn't take a shower by herself because really? of the Poltergeist movies. Yeah, yes. she's terrified. Yes, I had to keep the curtain open and make sure through the mirror nobody was in right. there. Yeah. All right. Terrified well, movie. It's stuck with me 25 years now. Love you it. You talk about Poltergeist. I do. Yeah. I love it. I okay. love yeah. those movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Number two. These are all over the place, by the okay. way. Right. My yes. genres no are a little up there. The yeah, no consistency. Coach Carter. <laughs> this okay. is, and this was hard between Love and Basketball and Coach Carter. I love them both, but this one takes the cake. I'm the new basketball coach. And now so they good. have a choice. In Richmond, you're 80% more likely to go to prison than college. This contract states that you will maintain a 2.3 grade point average and you will wear ties on game day. So he's a strict Between coach. He, you know, really cares about academics and um, behavior and yes. all of that. And, and he shuts, he, he locks the gym at one point until uh, he's got enough players with grades that can, that'll mm. play. And they all become these successful athletes, like academic is it, athletes. Is it based on a true story though, or just a good story? Good movie yeah, on its I don't own. know, Dan. You know, oh. I'm yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm told yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I know. Awesome. I can't tell you any. Right. In this list, I know most people talk about their movies and they're like, this person's in it and this person. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know any anybody's yeah. names. Well, but. you know Samuel L. Jackson. He's kind of a massive movie star. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next one, Eternal Sunshine oh, of the Spotless I Mind. You've seen yeah, this one? I love, I love we this have movie. We perfected a safe, effective technique for the focused erasure of troubling memories. In a matter of hours, a patented So this is a doctor that erases memories um, for memories people. And it's this couple who gets in a fight and they break up and they want their memories erased from each other but they're in love and they find their way back to each other. And you know, I'm not about the sappy, happy kind yeah, of movies, right. but this one, I just, it's so cute. I love it. Cool. So that's a good, good one to watch, yeah. Classic bonus. And now, again, another whiplash genre here, The Strangers. Okay, Strangers? Have you seen this one? No. That's okay, another so horror movie, right? This is the horror movie, yeah. yeah, where they're in the cabin, this relaxing weekend in the cabin. Look at them relaxing. Yeah. And then they get this knock on this door from this strange woman, and then all of a sudden these masked intruders. Right, they just terrify this family. Yeah, this yeah, couple. terrorize them. Wasn't that also based on a true story? I yes, think it was. Right. That one okay. was, yeah. yeah. Inspired by true events. Yeah. Terrifying. This is one of the few scary movies that um, you know, you go to bed at night and you're still scared. Yeah. That's how you test if it's really a scary movie. No. I haven't heard a dog bark. Car pass. All right, good, uh, good choice. One of so my favorites. Poltergeist and the Strangers. All right, <laughs> and Coach Carter. Yeah. And Coach Carter and yeah. Eternal Sunshine. Yeah. 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 Right, okay, and then this, uh, two more. Sorry, All right. I've seen six movies. So right. Thirteen Hours. This is the Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Benghazi, right? I know. Politics aside, right? Very incredible. Just watching the stories of these people and what they go through. I watch it at least once a year, and I cry every single time I watch it. And I'm not it's, much it's of a. Amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, it's 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 just the level of appreciation that you get after yeah. watching it. Yeah, John Krasinski is not either one of the main guys. Um, that I mean, yeah, amazing, amazing movie. Um, good choice, Morgan. Okay, and then good last taste, but not right? least, again, one more, more whiplash for you, Luca. Oh, I love Luca. The kids, yeah, it's a really cute movie. It's so yeah. cute. These two kids. Um, they're just living this Italian yeah. summer of their lives, but they're actually sea monsters from the sea that you know turn into children when they come out of the water. And it and sounds strange, but there's like a really good message in the movie. There is. It's great for yes. kids. It's actually fun for adults to watch as well. Yeah, and some of those kids' movies, you know, you're kind of oh, stuck watching yeah. them over yeah. and over. Yeah. This is the really good one. Yeah. Good list, Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm actually surprised you've seen six, six movies. movies. Me too. It yeah. took me a while to come we've up been with them. On, we've been working on Morgan to see a few movies. I, yeah. I feel like Silence of the Lambs is the top yeah. one because you like some really of that. dark kind of rough movies. I watched some and I was like, eh. Uh, like, I'm not scared of Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, yeah Hannibal yeah. Lecter. Um, but anyway, okay, I enjoyed that, Morgan. That was great. You got good taste. Thank yeah. you. Okay, we'll do your weather. That's the list. Time flies today. We get into the 40s and tomorrow.